I like how stores now, they have these, they give you the receipt, and then they say on the, they circle the receipt and they go, well, if you could, could you do this quick survey for us? And if you do it, you get 5% off your next purchase of $10,000 or more. But we really appreciate it. Thank you. I'm like, great, now I'm walking out of Office Depot with overpriced ink and a chore. Thanks. <laughs> did I smile when you gave me the receipt? You did a good job. Survey over. Thanks. Good afternoon from USC Annenberg School. I'm Keith DeMolder here from Studio A with Leland Waters. Leland, how's it going today? Doing pretty well, Keith. Thank you for having me here for the Annenberg sit-down. I really appreciate it. And as a former Annenberg alum, it's great to see all this great technology that you have here and wonderful tools that you get to use and, and hopefully serve you well in your future. Yeah, absolutely. And so uh, this past weekend was a wild weekend for sure. Uh, you did some PA announcing. Can you tell me a little bit about that? I did. I announced a soccer game on Friday afternoon. We beat Colorado 2-0. Then I announced the uh, Volleyball match against California on Friday night. We won in four. I did internal PA for football on Saturday night. We pulled that off. And then I actually did PA for the volleyball match against Stanford on Sunday. Unfortunately, we didn't come away with a win there, but it was a heck of a match. And we had about 2,500 fans in attendance at that match. So wow. it was a very rocking atmosphere and a great, uh, great volleyball match, although we just came out on the short side a little bit. Right, so you clearly have done a lot of different sports uh, during your time at USC. Can you go into a little bit about how you came to USC? I know you have a little interesting backstory uh, to that. Well, I, uh, when I was a young high school student, I only applied to USC. It was the only place that I applied to. I wouldn't recommend that for high school students these days, but back in the day that worked and I got here. I was able to run uh, track here as a walk-on, it was a steeplechaser. And then a year or two after I was uh, done with my collegiate years, I was uh, doing some PA work at a local high school where I substitute teach, Crescenta Valley High School in La Crescenta. And they said, and they said, would you want to do some PA for us? And I said, sure. And I was able to do some basketball and volleyball and, and baseball. And that summer I went to a dinner with my pledge brother and best friend and at that dinner was a couple, and the wife worked here in sports information. And I said, how do you get the PA announcers? And she says, well, we have a list. And I said, well, can you put me on that list? Yes, <laughs> see, Anna Berg alum. Yeah. And she says, sure. And two months later, they called, and would you be interested in announcing volleyball? And I said, sure. And I came down and interviewed with one of the senior associate athletic directors. And she says, well, why don't you announce our alumni match with another guy and kind of an audition? And so I did that match, and from that I was able to get uh, women's and men's volleyball. And the other guy that auditioned with me, he had got some of the other sports, women's basketball and soccer. And the years went by, and he started having kids, and he said, Lila, would you pick up my sports? And I said, sure. And then a few years later, we added beach volleyball and lacrosse, and they said, would you want to announce for us? And I said, sure. And so then a couple years ago, I was doing backup for men's basketball, and they said, would you want to be our primary guy and I said sure why not and over the years I was able to announce track having been a track athlete right. and got in the rotation on baseball and so now I'm here about two three times a week uh, during the uh, fall and, and spring spring gets gets really crazy right but uh, kind of keeps me out of trouble all right well you're here two three times a, a week we're glad to have you here today for the Annenberg sit-down. I welcome. was actually with you yesterday, you were? Uh, USC versus Stanford in that volleyball game. Uh, we got the video up right now. And so here is you looking at the uh, the testing facility you got right there. You're getting some names down. Can you describe what's on? So right now I'm talking to the Stanford, uh, one of their sports information directors, just going over their names, how to make sure I say it right. I'm going to write it phonetically so that uh, when I look at it really quick, I can easily read what I wrote and say it right away, boom. This is me now going over the script to change it around just a little bit. Sometimes when it's written, it isn't the best for when you say it. So you kind of have to change it around a little bit here and there so that it'll sound a little bit better when it comes out on uh, over the PA. Right. Um, here I am with the coach, and we're kind of discussing... Uh, he's actually giving me his starting lineup. I go and get that early so that I can radio it up to the marketing uh, our producer who's up in the booth 
and he knows who the starters are before I say them because we put them up on the big screen as they run out and get their names announced. So it's all sort of a process, and we all sort of work together. And about two, year, two three years ago, they added the headset on to me. They used to have an intern that sits next to me when they had me stuff. But now with having the microphone, it's integrated into the headset, I have the producer talking to me while I'm saying a PA. Right. And so part of it is that trick of focusing on what I'm reading, but also he can be in my ear to say, stop, 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 or add this, add this, say that the kids can now go redeem their voucher for their giveaway right. or whatever it is. He has that control to tell me what's going to go on. And it also, he's talking to the band, he's talking to the DJ, and that allows them to know, okay, here's what we're going to do next. And the next time out, we're setting that up. All the while, I'm announcing what's going on on the court, mm -hmm. and everybody's talking to me in my ear. And I have a little button that I can talk back to him as well. Um, so the trick is to not answer him over the loudspeaker. <laughs> right, right. That would definitely not be a good situation. That would not be a good situation, especially during gameplay where the referee would look at you and say, what is <laughs> what was that? <laughs> very true, very true. So very hectic situation, uh, to say the least, before the game. But then uh, when you're actually announcing the starting lineups, how does that feel? I'm, I'm sure it's definitely an awesome situation. It's definitely a rush. It's as much as the girls get pumped up and the fans are getting pumped up, I'm getting pumped up as well. you know, you got the music going. You've got uh, me trying to get the crowd pumped up and really emphasize our names. And it's just a, it's that great feeling in sports of this is going to be a big event. This is what they practice for. This is their them putting on their display of mm -hmm. what can we do, how good have we improved since the last match. Um, you know, and and for me too, the drama part of it is super exciting, and almost like in that theater sense of what's going to happen. You know, what's going to be the first act and what's going to happen in, as it builds to the climax of the match or the game. You know, we saw a great uh, climax to Saturday night's football game that it built and built and, you know, how is this thing going to end and is SC going to come out on top? And so I really enjoy the drama part of it as well as the athletic competition aspect as well. Right, right. And so you just announced uh, the names right there. What was going through uh, your mind? What usually goes through your mind when all eyes are on you or all ears shall I when say? When they're all on me, it's sort of a how am I going to say each name, uh, which I try to say each name for us kind of a little bit different, a little different emphasis on certain things. There are some times where I'll say a name and I'm envisioning something like a motorcycle hmm. revving up or a saw is turning <laughs> or sort of a, a horn, like a almost like a hurricane a siren type of thing. So I do that and kind of then that imagery leads to how it comes out and the sound of the sound of the name. Wow. So clearly a lot that goes into PA for sure. There's a lot of it that goes into it. And part of it, I have a bit of a stand-up comedy background. I mm -hmm. do stand-up. But I also, it's kind of that set-up punch thing in my mind of like, I'm going to say this name and the fans don't quite know when I'm going to say that last name. And then, boom, here comes, here comes the last name. And I'll do that in, during, the, during the match as well. I'll sort of uh, try to say things a little bit different each time so the crowd kind of is, is there kind of guessing on how it's going to be said and, and different emphasis here and there. Awesome. Leland Waters keeping the crowd guessing every single time. Thank you for joining us today. You're very welcome. Thank you for having me. I appreciate this. Absolutely. So that's Leland Waters. You're watching the Annenberg Sit Down. I'm Keith DeMolder from USC Annenberg Studio A. Take it easy.